Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And I want to share with you, the world is on the brink of nuclear catastrophe. Hamas rockets hit Israel's nuclear power plant. That's what this particular um, news put here by USMC showing these two big old uh, plants here to be Israel's Demona nuclear power plants. Uh, and now I've never been there personally, so I cannot say that that is absolutely authoritatively not Israel's nuclear power plant. Uh, but I want to show to you something here, and then I'm going to take and share with you. Uh, well, maybe I should share with you an article here on Israel's, uh, in the Times of Israel, okay? This article here, um, oh gosh, where does it give me a date for this article? Uh, can't actually see. Well, here we have here an aerial view of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. You know, that was when it all melted down back in 1986, right? And this photo here says, view of the nuclear reactor in Demona, southern Israel, August 13th, 2016. All right, that's when that photograph was taken. Let me blow it up for you so you can see it really, really well here. All right, I want you to be able to see this. Uh, that's it right there in the background there. Notice it's just like that big old dome on there. Uh, you see some little buildings, some trees there. You see the desert, right? Now, let's go over here. Let's take a peek at this video right here. Now, here we see, uh, you know, some power, power uh, things there. You see some oil pumps there. Kind of looks more like Texas, quite frankly, if you ask me. But I'm just saying, I don't know. Maybe since 2016, Demona put up these new towers. They look a lot like, by the way, Port St. Saint Lucie nuclear power plant, which I know it's not because Port St. Lucie is on an island down there uh, in near Fort Pierce, Florida. I'll just show you that. Uh, Port uh, St. Lucie uh, nuclear power plant. Uh, you know, we're going to play the video, though. And the reason why I want to play the video, the, the, the main reason behind this though, is because I'm very concerned, uh, you know, of, you know, that type of uh, thing there. Now, the one in at Port St. Uh, Lucie nuclear power plant, and I actually worked at this nuclear power plant many, many years ago. It hasn't changed much since then. Uh, there's some new buildings there, obviously, from the time that I there, it was there. Not quite shaped the same way. Maybe I'm thinking of New York's power plants or something. But I did know they had two, what well, these are called containment uh, towers there. Uh, these were designed to be able to withstand a 747 jet plane from impacting it, right? Just to give you an idea of how strong they are. But this is Demona's uh, containment wall around their nuclear power plant. And it is quite big. It's not small. Uh, now, that wasn't built back in 2016. That's just when this photo was taken, was in 2016. Okay, just so you know. Now, here we go. So, this particular person puts out the world is on the brink of nuclear catastrophe. And I don't think the guy put the video himself. I'm sure he got it from somewhere online and just believed it to be true. Because it looks like that the nuclear power plant in Israel is under attack. Right? So let's watch. One, I'm just not used to seeing missiles fly in like that. Secondly, I was told that this was Hamas's missiles. Hamas doesn't have missiles that blow that blow up that big either, by the way. Um, and then by the way, it's kind of funny though, if you'll notice too, look, it just, everything just stops, right? I don't know. Maybe it's a CGI. I, I don't really know, but watch what happens though. All kinds of crazy things are going to break loose. All these rockets are flying almost at ground level. Wow, what an explosion there, right? Just a massive explosion. There goes another one. Wow. Everybody's scared that Israel's Demona nuclear power plant 
is under this kind of an attack. But here's the thing. The first thing that caught my attention was that in Israel, you wouldn't have, uh, you know, when I saw these rockets blowing up like they're doing, I'm like, I've never seen a Hamas rocket that strong. Now Hezbollah might have something a little bit more powerful like that. But then secondly, why are they just traveling right across the edge of the ground? Everything they fire is way up in the air coming back down. So even that seems strange, right? Just very strange. Um, you know, all these things coming in the way they're coming in. And there's no, there's no, uh, you know, David Swing knocking these rockets out of the sky. That's another strange thing going on. And, uh, you know, so I'm just, I'm perplexed by this. I really am. I'm very perplexed by it. As, as the video goes on, let me just show you. Then they start showing all this other crazy stuff, right? Sadly, sadly, and, and a precious sister sent this to me, and her she loves Israel, so her heart's just breaking to see that Israel could be under any any kind of attack like that, right? So let's just let's do this though, right? This is supposed to be Demona's nuclear power plant, right? So let's just take a look. Hamas rockets hit Israel's nuclear power plant. All right, so let's take and let's just go do a little research of our own. We did. Let's put under here. Israel's nuclear power plant. Maybe Israel's got one that I'm not aware of. Okay, maybe. There's Demona right there. That's that's the one for sure. Right? Um, again, Demona, Demona. All these are Demona. Uh, nuclear power plants. I'm just trying to see if we see anything that even remotely looks like um, the ones that we see there. The, this here, by the way, that's down there. That's not even, doesn't even look like, well, that surely didn't give me what I was, what I clicked on, did it? Uh, this one right here, this is actually on the coast just north of Tel Aviv. I've passed it many, many times there. Uh, they're actually take the picture is taken from uh, they're taking it from the down near the the water line closer to the uh, to the the Mediterranean Sea looking back that's why the mountains are in the background right there but again looks nothing like what they just showed there um, you know and uh, and and quite frankly uh, I, I never knew exactly what that was or here we go uh, power is a safer future nuclear but there again it doesn't mean that it's in Israel it just talks about that let's see the three mile island nuclear power plant All right, three mile island there you go three mile island has similar types of containments as does that picture that we just saw there right but it's not Israel okay not Israel clearly and uh, let's see nuclear science and technology uh, Africa, nah, so it's not Israel, you know, uh, and there's three here, so that couldn't be it, you know, so all we can do is each time we can only go back to, uh, that's the one there that's, uh, no, no, that's not even, that's not Israel either, uh, that's something else different there, uh, what is this here, Germany shuts down nuclear power plants, so that's Germany, that's not Israel, um, making a case of nuclear power, uh, that is, where's that at? That's, uh, let's, let's go find out. We'll view the page and see where this is located at. I have no idea. Stanford Scholars. Okay. Uh, in a new book, let's see, uh, Jeremy Carl did argue the nuclear energy one, Miss, uh, uh 
All right, it's not saying where this one's at, but it's definitely not Demona. Uh, especially with all the trees in the background, Israel's on a desert, especially Demona. Uh, and let's so let's just go back up though. Again, let's so we we close that out. Not nothing there. Every the only thing Demona. That's Israel has the one as far as I know only one nuclear power plant. And that's Demona, and Demona. That's Demona right there. Okay, that's Demona. Um, uh, I guess that's when they first started. Uh, no, sorry, that's a different issue altogether. There, uh, I think that's Demona as well. Uh, yeah, Israel's Demona nuclear reactor. It isn't Chernobyl. That's actually the very article that I pulled up a second ago to show it to you. This is Demona also. Shimon Perez, Israel's hidden hawk, was the father of the nation. And uh, let's see if we view the page. don't know when that was done. Um, but again, it is the Demona nuclear power plant. And there it is, a little bitty picture there. That's uh, that's in the year 2000, uh, general view of Israeli nuclear facility. So, and little bitty thing is all you get to see in that picture there, right? So, see if there's a bigger picture in here anywhere, but uh, I don't think so. Yeah, Shimon Perez big is a big deal over that because they uh, they agreed to do. That's how we ended up with the, I think, the ringworm children that Barry Chamish writes about was because of Shimon Perez wanting the nuclear bomb, so he had to get a nuclear plant to be able to develop that. Anyway, so the thing is, this I do not believe for one moment is true. It's not. It's false. Uh, not. I'm not saying that the person that has this channel here intended for that to be false, but it is totally not Demona at all. Uh, so it's it's wrong. So I wanted to correct that so no one else believes that. Uh, Fox News is reporting here, House passes defense bill automatically registering men 18 to 26 year olds for the, for the draft. The selected service is already mandatory for the male, males in the U.S. aged 18 to 24. Uh, so this is going to broaden that age gap there to the age of 26. So it's not an actual draft. It is just... Uh, uh, well, let's just see what Fox News has to say here, if, if it actually plays. It doesn't look like it's going to play, though. Um, uh, but it's just to where you have to to register that uh, that you would be available in the event that there were to be a draft. Uh, very concerning, very concerning. It lets us know that what direction the world's going into, especially when they change that age, 18 to 26. It lets you know they're making sure they have more able-bodied uh, men to be able to fight in any potential wars that the United States may find themselves getting into. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Have a blessed evening.